Hey everybody, this is Dylan. Hello, hi. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing well. Today I'm doing a review of Disney Princess Belle, and this is her wardrobe playset from the Disney store. This is one of my favorites that they have ever done. And I have uh, both of them that she was included in, both of the VR guest scene and of this scene, which features the wardrobe and some other female characters. But I'm so excited to look at this with you because Belle is my favorite princess and Madame Wardrobe never gets enough attention. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing an unboxing of all of these details. I'm so excited. Um, it looks like there's several things that we have to get out of the box, but the wardrobe, of course, is going to be the major item. And I'm so glad she was included here at her true scale. <laughs> so the box is very, very pretty. It's yellowed, you know, just as Belle is usually featured. Over here is an image of the Beast Castle, and here it says Disney Princess Belle wardrobe playset. Also, there's just little hints of windows, you know, around the actual plastic, which looks like the ballroom. This is uh, 3 Plus here, and then this is the Disney Store logo. This is telling us that Madame Wardrobe's doors can be open and she has some drawers there uh, for storage. So that's very, very fun. <laughs> this side of the box has a cool image of Belle with a chandelier, you know, hanging from the ballroom and some roses and then more of the Beast's Enchanted Castle down here. I love that so much. I love all the packaging on Disney Princess items. <laughs> This side has another enchanting chandelier. These are some roses here. This is a window from the Beast Castle and enchanted rose under the jar with Mrs. Potts and Chip, which they are included here as well. This is a glamour shot of everything that is in the box. It says Disney Princess Belle Wardrobe Playset. And then it includes uh, her pink dress that she's wearing, but it gives us the option of having her put on the cloak and the gloves and, well, brush her hair, of course, but so she can go outside and play in the snow or in the colder weather with the enchanted objects. We also have Feather Duster, also known as many different names in, depending on what film you're watching or uh, stage show. She's also known as Fifi, Babette, and um, ah, in the live action film, Plumette, that's it. So there's just all different names for her, <laughs> but um, I call her any of them. Of course, Madame Wardrobe, and we have uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip. Down on the bottom, there's this beautiful shadow artwork here of um, characters from Beauty and the Beast. So we have Belle and Beast and Roses, uh, Cogsworth, Mrs. Potts and Chip, Lumiere, um, Enchanted Roses, and then this is the Beast Castle. No price is listed on the box, but this retails for $35. Um, and uh, wherever Disney store toys are sold. So, but I did receive this from Shop Disney. It's been a couple years now, I believe. Um, so the dolls here are a little bit dated, just in terms of how the, um, the feet and everything are styled. These dolls, uh, don't seem to have the pointed feet. <laughs> so I would do a deboxing of the BR guest scene, but I already deboxed that whenever I received it. Way back when, I think I actually bought it at my local Disney store before they closed. So, but I do have that Bell doll handy, and I want to do a, um, a little comparison of the two towards the end of the video. <laughs> all right, so we've got all that done, and we just have to undo this um, lid there. All of these seem to be packaged somewhat the same. There is a lot of plastic though, so I see maybe why they haven't uh, continued these. Maybe we'll get something similar to this type of thing, um, which they did just do the, the story classic dolls, but maybe we'll get something similar to, to these, you know, as time goes on. It would have to be packaged differently though. <laughs> All right, so Madame Wardrobe is so amazing. One of my favorite Beauty and the Beast characters is that she just never really gets the appreciation that she ever deserved. Um, and I love Joanne Worley as the voice of Madame Wardrobe. She is such a fun character. Oh my gosh. And I was so excited whenever they included her in the Kingdom Hearts 2 game. So, and of course, Mrs. Joanne Worley reprised her speaking part for this role, which also thrilled me. <laughs> 
So you can really tell that I love Beauty and the Beast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we have to do to get um, these beloved Disney characters out of here. So there is a lot of this like um, ties. That's probably what's keeping Madame Mortar mostly in the box. <laughs> Just a lot of these little anchor things. So, and I've been trying to be very cautious about um, where I put these because I found a couple on the floor and I've stepped on them and they kind of hurt. So it's just <laughs> where I debox things. I find little plastic ties everywhere around my house. So I don't, I don't even know how they end up where they do. <laughs> okay, so some plastic ties and of course some tape that we will have to undo. Uh, that also is sort of annoying. Let's go to the back. Looks like mostly tape here, so let's just see. Okay, so I've removed a lot of tape and a lot of those annoying little things that a lot of you probably don't want to watch me struggle with. <laughs> so, but for the most part, um, I feel like everything is going to be easier to remove. So we have these characters down here that are on like a little balance thing. It's made out of cardboard and this was taped in. So this is where we have Feather Duster, Mrs. Potts and Chip. Very, very cute. And looks like under here, there's even more tape that's holding them in, you know. <laughs> and it's crazy to think that this tape has um, held on for that long, you know, like, because these have been taped down for a long time. <laughs> and that makes me wonder, you know, will they ever uh, return some of these sets back to their collections? And, you know, I'm not sure. I think it would have to definitely um, depend on just packaging, you know, and, and how much waste is coming from the packaging. Um, Cause you know, a lot of stuff probably isn't recyclable. Recyclable. Okay, so. <laughs> Here's Miss Feather Duster. She is made out of a hard plastic and she was just held in there. Um, her handle is very, very pretty. It's gold and she has a nice little smirky look on her face. Let me get that to focus here. She's got a little bit of eye um, makeup on and her smile is red. Very pretty. I'd say Lumiere will be excited to see her um, in the castle, you know, um, included as well. And so she has like the black part of her dress and then the white part representing the feathers. And she has a little uh, string here on top. That's so pretty. I love the feather duster. I always needed one of her when I was little. So um, I guess this now <laughs> secures that. Get this yuckiness off of my finger. This tape is just being crazy. Oh. <laughs> so, um, it must be pretty good quality tape. So then we also have Mr. Chip and uh, Mrs. Potts, uh, portrayed by the incomparable Mrs. Angela Lansbury. Um, rest in peace. Um, it was just so heartbreaking whenever she passed, you know, I don't think any of us knew she was really sick or anything. She lived a long life and a long career. So let's try to remove Mrs. Potts here very delicately because she is China. She is English China. <laughs> They're so cute. So Mrs. Potts has her little purple hat on and the purple base of the teapot and it's painted to look like the china from the film. She also has like a little yellow um, detail around her hat and pink handle in the middle. And um, she looks very lovingly there with her golden handle. I think she's supposed to mean to cuddle up next to Chip probably. <laughs> and uh, Chip also has plastic around him. So let's see if we can free him from that without scratching anything. You've definitely seen this chip before, just from the Disney store and in um, different um, molds and stuff. He's very tiny, so you do have to kind of watch. So um, he's white and he has little um, gold details on him. He looks really cute. <laughs> and he's got his little um, purple base there. So he'll just cuddle right up next to his mother. 
and you know the other enchanted objects. So let's see if we can get Belle out and then we will get Madame Wardrobe free as she's the biggest spectacle here. <laughs> so let's get a few of these little pieces out of the way. I love Beauty and the Beast so much though. I mean, oh my gosh, it's just the best. In my opinion, yes. <laughs> All right, Miss Belle. Um, feels like there's something down here holding her in. Yup, there is some. There we go. Break that. There's a little rubber band down there. There's also some accessories that fell back. So she has a golden um, hairbrush that has be beautiful, like little forest emblems on it. Um, I don't see any specific. Thing, you know, relative to Beauty and the Beast, but it's just really pretty. And here is a hanger, because I think you can hang her cloak inside of wardrobe, and it has little rose details on it. This is really pretty. <laughs> All right, so Belle, though, is featured here in her Something There outfit. Um, the pink dress, of course, the wintry dress. I think it's very beautiful here. Um, they have all already put the gloves on her, which I think is fine because I love it with gloves. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Um, this plastic piece is held into her with like little plastic tacks. So of course, we want to remove that so we can make sure that Belle is freed from her prison. Belle's always pretty smart, though. She can get out of just about anything. <laughs> uh, she doesn't need rescue. <laughs> so, um, these were, like, rubber banded on to keep her hands in place. So, yeah, the gloves are very pretty, very dainty, you know. Which I'm sure it will make more sense, you know, once we get the cloak on her, which, of course, I have to see. But I love this pink dress. I think this is very good quality. Um, so the sleeves are pink. You know, everything's a different shade of pink. Um, around the trims of the dress, there's these pretty little ruffles, which looks very, very similar to the film, as well as this pretty ruffle uh, see-through piece around the top. Also, there is a pretty ruffle that runs around the bottom of the dress. So that's also really pretty. I love that. Um, there is some tissue paper included here just because, you know, to keep it all nice and full whenever um, this was displayed in the box. So let's see if we can get this ugly piece away from her um, waist. There's like little plastic tacks that are tacking that one. Hmm. After struggling a good bit, I was able to get that off. It was really scary though, just because I didn't want to cut up her dress any with my pair of scissors. So, oh, I hate that. <laughs> Absolutely hate those things. So, um, let's just slowly get uh, Belle's magic mirror off there. And without messing up her gloves, I can never seem to put the gloves back on the same after they've been taken off. So I'm always very uh, careful about that because it is very hard, you know, to get them to line up just right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think her gloves are very, very, very pretty. They're very proper, you know. <laughs> so um, this is the Beast Magic Mirror, which I forgot that this was included. Um, with, I didn't, you know, mention it in the beginning of the video. So there is a little reflective piece on there, and the back of it has really beautiful details. It looks just like the item from the film. Very gothic, you know, very um, French architecture here going on. Very pretty. It's a little bent, but I think that's so she can hold it and look in the mirror. Um, this is how it was um, packaged, so I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that or, or what. <laughs> so Belle is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this dress so, so much. Um, she has a pretty bow in her hair, and this is uh, a little flattened just because it was um, tucked behind that plastic thing, and her ponytail is to that side because I believe that's how it has been packaged. So that's okay with me. <laughs> she has on pink shoes shoes. And let's uh, get rid of this tissue paper. It was just underneath there to keep it looking nice. <laughs> um, very pretty. 
Uh, it looks like she has the pink um, underwear painted on. And the bottom skirt is the part that is uh, glittery. So let's get Belle out of the frame for just a second and we will remove her cape from the box. Because I think there's some tacks holding it in and I don't want there to be any holes in this because it's very important to me to have this cape in a very good quality just because I love, love this outfit. <laughs> And they did a good job recreating it. I think that like some faux fur would have been fun. So many little tacks <laughs> hanging there by itself. It kind of looks like a ghost, you know, <laughs> because there's just no life in it. It has a hood too. It's very, very cute. I love, love Belle's cloak. Come on. <laughs> There is a lot of little tacks holding it up there, which I understand they have to make it look presentable. All right, and I believe there's just one more and that's down here in the little corner. Okay, so whew. <laughs> there is a little bit of like um, red kind of rubbing off onto the white. I just noticed that because it is, it does seem to shed just a little bit. Um, just getting all those remaining little tacks out. Yuck, I know. Trying not to damage the garment or anything. I hate that. Ugh. So there is a little bit of like redness on the actual white piece, which I understand, you know, the red kind of flakes off a little bit. Ooh, there's a tack here, see, everywhere. <laughs> and um, yeah, so you just kind of have to watch for that. Um, you know, I definitely wouldn't mess with the, the white trim too much that way you know none of it kind of red rubs off but it's it is definitely there the hood is very pretty we'll just have to see how we get this on here oh looks like there's a tack here yeah it was just everywhere like oh my gosh and it's velcro back here so we'll just have to see how we get this on her because i definitely have to see that <laughs> and it looks like the, there's no option for her to have her have her with the hood down. Uh, looks like this is just going to fit over her body and onto her hair. <laughs> so we will see. <clears throat> All right, so now on to the other um, main attraction here is Madame Wardrobe. So Madame Wardrobe is held in here with uh, some of those uh, tacks and... Um, I've already been kind of cutting some of those, but let's just see what we can do. That way we can get her out safely. Just chopping it here. <laughs> it's like um, putting together a piece of furniture, you know? <laughs> in here and she will be free <laughs> all right <laughs> so she was held in just by a couple of those plastic ties clean up some of these oh there's stuff everywhere <laughs> there we go but she's held in by the plastic ties um, and she still has this on the back of her which will get off you know it was just stabilizing her she is so awesome Oh my gosh, I love Madame Wardrobe. There's her feet, her feet, so cute. Oh my gosh, and she has details on her, like on her legs, there's like some um, like scrolling and then there's some rose details around her doors. And then of course, look at that beautiful face. She's just singing opera, you know, Ooh! it's just amazing, you know, cause I love it whenever she sings. 
and you know, and she just kind of walks around. She is, of course, the largest enchanted object, and you know, it probably is hard for her because she can't walk downstairs. She can't fit through any doorways, you know, so I feel for her. She's probably the, the enchanted object with the most struggling, you know. Um, it's one thing to be a clock or a candlestick, and you know, you just kind of uh, fit wherever, but Madame Wardrobe, she only can probably just stay in a few certain areas just depending on you know i guess her castle duties and stuff but after Belle moves in i think she's definitely like um one of Belle's, you know most trusted helpers you know just because she is helping the lady of the house so <laughs> so this was kind of um stuck around her let's see It's definitely rubber banded on. All right. Gosh, there's just so much keeping keeping this together. All right, woo! So, um, the reason that her doors were rubber banded is because they do open. So it's very, very pretty. So one side has um, like a hanger spot. And look in there, there's like wallpaper behind it with like enchanted roses. Looks like there's even Cogsworth's, Lumiere's, uh, bows and stuff on there. I love that so much. Um, so that is so pretty. And then this side um, has some shelving. So that's really cool. And it looks like this is um, supposed to look like her drawers, you know. Let's see what I got in my drawers, you know. How embarrassing. I, I love, I love the wardrobe so much. Um, and it doesn't oh yeah so her bottom drawer is open she is amazing i love this so much you know and she just kind of walks around and you know figures it out <laughs> so i love madame wardrobe so so much i think that is so cool oh my gosh so um let's get this um on bell but first um i suppose if you wanted to you know, if it's not a wintry day and Belle staying in the castle, you know, um, I suppose that you could put her cloak on a hanger. <laughs> this hanger is a little small for this. <laughs> um, and then you could uh, put it in wardrobe's uh, um, side here, you know, and so that way it's sort of um, hangs. This hanger is definitely little small for this job <laughs> but you can definitely like hang it in there you know but I don't know about that but <laughs> so um let's just keep this hanging for Madame Wardrobe there but that is such a cute idea um you know keep a hairbrush in there um you know why not keep the magic mirror in there you know you never know <laughs> all right so this is going to be very interesting so I think what we'll do is just kind of straighten Belle's head up a little bit and this is basically going to fit over her face um and you know for those of you who uh like to keep the perfect hairstyles you know this is definitely going to stress you out a little bit <laughs> And the thing is, with the bow, you do just kind of have to work around that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, it's beautiful. But, uh, and of course, you kind of have to work around her hair too. But I guess if you wanted to keep it sort of, you know, um, kind of out, you know, this would be the best way to do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. It is so pretty. Well, you know, and you could kind of pull her hair through without, you know, making too much of a mess of it. There we go. And, um, kind of put the hood up a little bit. That way you could Velcro everything. Wow. Magnifique. <laughs> 
that is so beautiful oh my goodness i just really love that so and i was very careful and in, in getting this over her um her head so i don't see any issues with her hair i was worried about her widow's peak being messed up maybe just a little bit of the end of her ponytail but i think that was already kind of like that so and the pink bow kind of you know stands out as well i think it is so beautiful oh my gosh so let's just get everything together and just see what we can do then um you know because i think that this is such a beautiful set like to take photos with um you know let's get fifi in there or whatever you call her <laughs> um, mrs potts chipper this is just such a beautiful beautiful set oh my gosh oh so I didn't mean to cover up Madam Wardrobe, but this is just a quick comparison of the three bells of this face type and of this era. So we have a peasant bell, winter bell, and of course a yellow ball gown bell, which this is sold uh, separately um, as a classic doll. But these two came from uh, different play sets, and this bell came from the Be Our Guest play set. Um, and then of course the winter bell we just looked at came from the wardrobe playset. So, so beautiful just, you know, to have so many different dolls of the same character. I absolutely love it. All right, everyone, that is all the details here of the Bell and Wardrobe playset. I'm so thrilled with this one. This is probably really my favorite playset that the Disney store has ever done, just given the context and the characters for me. <laughs> so let me know what you think of them and all of their beautiful details. And of course, if this was your first time here at my channel, make sure you help the channel out uh, by helping me grow. That's by liking this video and of course, subscribing if you have not already. Thank you guys so, so much. And I I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye <laughs> everybody. <laughs>